I'm Mr. Ben. Today we are talking about secondary air injection. So secondary air injection is an emissions control that we have on most of our Volkswagens and it gives a lot of problems sometimes. So it's one thing I wanted to kind of cover with one of these videos and kind of show y'all. This will be a catch-all video on secondary air injection. Now I'm going to do this video on our $400 Jetta. However, if you have a Passat, if you have any other type of Volkswagen, the systems are going to work the same. The test of procedures might be a little different because of relay locations and wiring and things like that, but for the most part, the concepts in this video are going to be the same for all Volkswagens built around 2000 to 2005 and Audi as well. So um, as we go forward, a lot of these systems, uh, when, they, when they tear up, when they give codes and things like that, you'll get a check engine light, has no effect on the performance of the vehicle. So you're not going to have any symptoms uh, running rough, anything like that. You may have a lean code as well if you have a vacuum leak for the uh, secondary air injection valve or something like that. But for the most part, you're not going to feel any different. It's not going to cause any issue with your fuel economy or performance or anything like that. So, so what does secondary air injection do? Secondary air injection will feed fresh filtered air from your air box to the catalytic converters on startup. So this system really doesn't even work after the car is started up uh, past about 30 seconds. So uh, for the first 30 seconds on a cold morning, if uh, the catalytic converter is cool, the secondary air injection pump will come on and supply the catalytic converter with fresh air and that will cause the catalytic converter to heat up quicker and get the car in what we call closed loop quicker. But if you're here watching this video, you probably don't care what it means. You just have the light on and you're looking for a way to get it off and fix the problem. So this video is going to explain secondary air injection pump, the switchover valve, the combination valve, and the relay going to the secondary air injection pump. And I'm going to show you, if you're a professional technician, how to test this with a scan tool. And also, just if you're in your driveway and you're looking for an answer, I'm going to show you how to test this system just using a jumper wire. So stick around and I'm going to show you all that stuff next. Okay, so this is the two liter engine and what I want to do real quick is just point out a couple of components and kind of explain some things that can go wrong with the system. First thing that can go wrong is the air pump itself. Now the air pump is mounted here, 10 millimeter uh, nuts and it has these rubber pieces that hold this on. That's going to keep the vibration of the pump from going into the engine and causing any issues there. So a lot of times this pump will split and these rivets will dig through the plastic and the pump will split and you'll hear a really loud whooshing sound coming through the secondary air injection pump. If so, the really only way to fix that is to replace the pump or figure out a way to reclamp this. I've seen people use smaller bolts and screws and stuff to hold it together. These pumps really aren't expensive anymore, so about 30 bucks will get you another pump. Uh, this is the same type of pump that's on the Passats and the Audis as well. So. Uh, they may have a different end plate on because the hoses are pointed a different way, but for the most part, this is all the same part. Um, so it pulls in air from this box and it pushes it through this hose. These hoses a lot of time will break, crack, they're just made out of plastic, and you may get a secondary air injection incorrect flow detected. And you will also get a whooshing noise of air coming out of this when this pump is on. And I'm going to show you how to activate the pump here in a minute as well. So. This black hose right here is going to go around to the back and you can't see it unless the intake's off, but it has a silver valve about this big that is back here and it has a vacuum line. The vacuum line is going to go right here to this switchover valve. So the ECM will open this switchover valve and apply vacuum to the uh, secondary air injection valve back here and that will open the valve and it will allow this air to go into the exhaust system down to the catalytic converter. Okay, if that wasn't complicated enough, we've got this right here, one of our fuse boxes here. You'll see a relay. Nine times out of 10, the relay is gonna be marked 100 on the top. It's a gray four pin relay. And so it has power ground and that's your through power. And you'll see they'll start, they'll start getting some, some wear on then let me see if I can get that to focus in. You'll start getting black terminals. I've seen the terminals burn completely through. 
it is a lot of amperage going through this relay to this pump. So um, that relay does go bad, burn out. I've seen the terminals back here burn out and cause either secondary air injection codes or incorrect flow detected codes. So again, this is not going to give a uh, drivability issue. It's just going to light up the check engine light because this is an emissions issue and so a lot of times your customer or yourself will see the check engine light and think something's way wrong on this. If you're not in a emissions control state, you can drive this car all day long without this pump. Do secondary air injection deletes. Uh, I've seen that through tuning and everything else. So I don't really want to get into that, but I just want to show you how to fix this system. If you're in a emissions control state, California, Atlanta area, uh, other countries and stuff that have MOTs, uh, you're going to have to make this system work to get it past the inspection. So that's what we're going to focus on today. So I'm going to show you how to make sure that this pump comes on and it's not split or cracked. Okay, so I have the key on. I have my Autel scan tool here and I'm going to run it through the, let's see here, active test. So press start to begin active test. This is one that is going to just scroll through and it's going to activate a bunch of things in the car. One of the things that activates is the relay for the secondary air control. So start here. If you have an Autel, this is really easy to do. Other scan tools normally have some type of output test mode as well. All right, so that's injector. So we're going to go next. Cylinder two injector. Three four charcoal fill system for your n80 the inlet valve right here and if you have this you can feel it click this one's working fine also i'm going to tell you there's nothing wrong with this system i just wanted to show you all how this works but so this will test the valve if it's clicking on and off then you know it's at least getting power to it and now we have our relay so i want you all to listen to that that's how a good pump sounds So it will click it on and off through this relay right here. And if you hold your hand on the relay while it's doing this, this will click on and off. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this. If I had any issue with this system, I would have air escaping here. It would be a whooshing noise. Um, you know, air escaping through here, causing a whooshing noise, maybe blowing things around in the engine compartment. Or if this pump was locked up, I wouldn't have any noise at all. So if you don't hear the pump running, make sure that you're getting power to the pump. It's just a two pin um, plug right here on the end of the pump. You should be getting 12 volts to it or battery voltage to it. And so that's just a real quick, if you have a scan tool. Now I'm gonna show you how to test this if you don't have a scan tool. Okay, if you're trying to see if this pump is getting power from all the wires, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this relay out. I do not have to have the car on for this, okay? Because one of these posts get power at all times. So I'm looking for the larger posts in the relay. I don't know if you can see that. It's the larger posts right here. It's, it says pin one and pin two. That's gonna correspond with these two larger two larger pins on this relay right here. And so those are my high amperage pins. So I want to grab a good set of test leads. Don't grab a, a, a paper clip because you'll burn yourself. And I just want to, don't leave it on there too quickly. I'm just gonna touch this. And I can hear that pump coming on. That is telling me that the wiring going to the pump is good. So if you don't see any issue with the relay, but it's not clicking uh, or you have any doubts or it's, it's starting to look black like this, then I would put another relay in it and double check everything after that. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to find out where our vacuum valve is back here. Now this is going to be somewhere on the cylinder head on the very back uh, 
If you have a 1.8 turbo, it's a little bit different, but it's still, it looks like a little silver valve. It's about this big around and about that high. And we're gonna find the vacuum line that goes to it. And I'm gonna follow it. And it's gonna run to the top of this switchover valve. So I'm gonna take the vacuum line off right here. I'm gonna put a vacuum pump And I'm going to see if this holds vacuum. So that is holding vacuum. That's telling me the valve is probably okay. If I had any more doubts, I would take the valve off, flip it upside down, and see the pin go in and out. It's almost like testing a GM uh, EGR valve if you've ever done that, so or a Ford EGR valve. It's going to be the same way. But that's just the valve that lets the air from the air pump go into the exhaust. And this is testing okay. The vacuum line doesn't look very good to it, so I'll go ahead and replace that. But this looks good. Source vacuum line, I've already inspected right here. This looks like it's been replaced before. So overall, the, the, the system is good on this car here, which we already knew. Okay, everybody, that about sums up secondary air injection systems on most of these Volkswagens and Audis. If you have any questions, please hit me up down in the comments. I'll do what I can to get you any information that I have left out in this video or maybe clarify something that I've said before. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get more and more content out to you guys. Been a little hectic this week, so probably only going to be one video this week, but I am going to also add some content onto my Facebook page. You can always catch me there. I'm talking to a lot of my fans and stuff on there. And uh, if you have any other questions, again, just leave them in the comments. If you have any ideas for videos, leave them in the comments. And that about does it for us 